excited. I couldn't even get the beginning out. They were so excited. It's <laughs> nice to see you both. So do you enjoy being here, both from the UK? Do you enjoy being in New York City, like working? Yeah, I actually have lived here for a long time because I went to school here. Oh, but yeah, I have, yeah. I'm from Scotland originally, but yeah. I, yeah, it re, it's, it's fun. It's fun having him here. <laughs> yeah. Do you like being here? I adore this city. Yeah. As a kid, I sort of fell in love with New York through the movies, and I remember coming when I was about, I think about sort of 12 years old, and just being absolutely emotionally stunned by the city. Mm, and it yeah. retains that, particularly mm. up on Broadway where we're playing. Yeah. It's kind of, it feels like a film set. It feels too extraordinary to be true. Really. It really does. Yeah. I walk in this city every day, like every day at least for an hour, like I'm walking around from work or to work or whatever, and it really feels like you're in a movie. Like everything, like Central Park is so beautiful. Like everything, it's yeah, it's very nice. I know you kind of have to pinch yourself. I yeah. Think. I remember when I first came, I went on the the red bus tour, like the uptown red yeah. bus tour, and it passed Ju the school I went to, Juilliard, and they're like the Juilliard school, and I was like, I should go there. I like, <laughs> naive take, like, like really naive. Just I like, know, but I love that. And then you ended up going there. That, was that you were you were here though before you went there? That's when you were. Yeah, I inspired. I came for um, I think my 16th birthday. And what a cool. Oh, birthday. Oh, no, it was a great birthday. I think we went in a limo. You know when limos were cool? Yeah. <laughs> so you were like limo to prom, limo and New York. And well, then you have kids and like they think it's cool. So yeah, now I'm like, like doing like the they have this Home Alone thing like at the right. yeah at the hotel and you you do the whole thing like oh, in the, so the New York City one. And so we yes we got the pizza, got in the limo. My kids are like it's a limo. I love that. And that I'm like my, it is, is. I can't believe you just told me that Home Alone is my favorite movie. Oh my god. <gasps> the day I got married, like uh, after the following day, all of my friends stayed and we. we <gasps> We watched Home Alone. I was like, I can't believe there's a tour. How did I not hey, know? There is a, <laughs> it's, well, it's like a thing they do yeah. at the plaza. They do this thing where they, they even bring you the whole big dessert. It's from Home Alone 2. It's yeah, the, yeah, that yeah. Sunday. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. And wow. then my kids are like, we should do this every year as a tradition. I'm like, this is a very expensive, expensive tradition. tradition. <laughs> I was like, yeah. just so like you're aware. Like everything else in New York. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is, let's have a tradition of like getting ice cream somewhere. Um, but okay, so you, you had to adjust though, being here for the first time, because you weren't aware there were like actual highways in the city, no. right? No, we just thought it was a grid system. Coming from Scotland, I was like, yeah, I know what New York looks like. So I was like uh, about 18, 19, and I'd gone to a party uptown. Yeah. And I got a cab home, and it took me on the West Side Highway, and I was like, sir, sir, <laughs> sir, where are we? I was like, are we in New Jersey? He was like, we're on the West Side Highway, sweetheart. I was like, I'm being kidnapped. Yeah. <laughs> you know what movie ruined me? Bone Collector. <gasps> Ooh. I, it Bad. took me a minute to get back in a cab. Yeah. yeah. Why would you ever? I was like, or I'll walk. Yeah. I was like, It'll be like or the subway. an hour, subway. but yeah. I love the subway. So you love the subway, but your, your son loves the train? Is uh, that no, I'm, I'm a massive subway fan, and particularly in the city, you yeah. can never predict how long things are going to take unless yeah. you go on the subway. Mm -hmm. um, but I was making a film here towards the end of, right, just as we were coming out of COVID, and my son was three years old at the time, and it was like, should you be going on the subway at the time as far as spreading the sort of COVID? And I remember taking him one day and, and he was sort of using it as a monkey playground, like sort of jump, and, and I turned around and, f and found him literally licking up the sort of things. <laughs> it's like, this is a disaster. Yeah, the, sh yeah. the show is going to get shut <laughs> Anyway, no, I love the subway. I That's find it, my son, and yeah. he's eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He'll be like, it's fine, it feels cool. And I'm like, okay, free probiotic, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But to be fair, it is quite a good gymnasium. Yeah. Like, there are lots of things to Oh, they love it. My kids love the subway, and I'm with you. I take it as what, if I'm not, if I can't walk I'd rather walk but if yeah. I can't like this it's so you never know in a car it no. can literally oh. be 10 minutes or 35 I agree yeah and particularly with getting to the theater you have to be yeah you need to kind of get I just like you say theater Theater. It sounds very fancy. I've, I've done some very prestigious. So your kids are eight and six, right? That's right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So is it getting harder? Because my daughter is about to be ten, and she is hmm. very much going to be a lawyer at this point in her life. Like she negotiation. Is, oh. Wow. Never promise anything. I tell parents just don't commit to anything. I, <laughs> like because they will call it back it's on a, you. You're absolutely right. And they can have sort of, their memory can be dodgy for certain things, but absolutely yeah. forensic for specific things. Yeah. And my daughter is exactly like that. We, she, she can negotiate hardcore when yes. it comes to it. And, but you're right when you say never promise anything, even if it's first thing in the morning and you've just woken up and things are being asked, yeah. you just want to sort of spit words out in order that you can sleep a bit longer. Yeah. And no, never. Oh, I literally, la this morning, I got a little scolding with the eyes. It was the look from my daughter because last night my dinner took longer than it was anticipated, than I thought. And I was supposed to put them to bed, and she was like, oh, yeah, I got the eyes of, like, shame. Like, shame. well, <gasps> remember that time you told me you were going to put me to bed? And I was like, 
I thought I was. I like I, the one I know. So I just yeah. promised nothing. <laughs> so she's like, "Am I gonna eat food today? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, Hope so. I don't want to be held accountable." Oh, I was like, yeah, they're they are negotiators. You can see the new cabaret at the Kit Kat Club at the August Wilson Theater. Um, so tell us about your characters, for people that don't know cabaret. Do you want to go first? Go for it. As the MC, or do you want to? Yeah, um, I play Sally Bowles, the iconic Sally Bowles, um, who's a character uh, originally in the Christopher Isherwood's um, books uh, "Goodbye to Berlin," mm -hmm. um, and uh, made very famous by the inimitable Liza Minnelli mm -hmm. in the film. Um, and so many incredible women have played her. Um, she's a she's a singer in a nightclub in Berlin in the 1920s. Um, and she gets fired quite early on in, yeah. the, in the story. And it's um, these... Well, a and, huge and, life story. Yeah, yeah massive. She's yeah. A, and she goes on a huge, very intense journey as, a, as an artist and as a woman. And, mm. Yeah, inside of this club. Yes, yeah, so, of which the MC is kind of running the show. And mm -hmm. he was a creation when they made the musical based on the book that kind of holds the whole piece together. But he's... Uh, and he's, he starts as this... In our version, is this? It's almost like a kid at a party, yeah. and gradually throughout the thing, he shapeshifts his way through it with these. Our, our designer Tom Scutts made these extraordinary costumes into kind of skeletal costumes and clown Piero costumes, and um, and eventually, he's, he in some ways he kind of represents, I suppose, the soul of Berlin, just as the fascism mm -hmm. was sort of yeah. creeping in. Yeah. The audience sings along as well, right? Does that get distracting? Because <laughs> sometimes people will clap um, off rhythm. Yeah, and, I'm sure that's super and, helpful. And they're singing the wrong words. They're looking at me like singing. I'm like, baby, you don't know the words. Wait, you're, you're messing me up. <laughs> that may like, have happened. Yeah. Totally, yeah. totally. Yeah. Sometimes there are some people that like to sing cabaret, which is really interesting because the interpretation of that, the, the titular song is, yeah. is really specific to our production and not necessarily what people expect. So there's some, you know, joyful raucous singing along, and I kind of tried to like make make some direct eye contact with people. Like, do you wanna? Do you wanna? <laughs> do you wanna? <laughs> you wanna, <laughs> you wanna battle, man? Yeah, I'll battle. <laughs> yeah. Um, it gets. It's you love that they're into it, but yeah. also you're like, you're gonna throw me. So yeah, hard it's yeah. an interesting thing where it's like something bad is gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, which would still be fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a fun environment, like yeah. you said, because it's cavern. That's so cool. What a wonderful show. Well, Tony nominations. Oh my God, there's nine, right? Is there nine? Yeah. So, that's an yeah. incredible amount. So congratulations. Yeah. Yes. How, did, how do you hear about it? How did you find out? I was like, I think I, I, I was really trying to pretend it wasn't happening because I think, you yeah. know, for better or for worse, we've, we've all been in this position. Or yeah, this you is just the first time know. I've been in this position and I was like, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep. Yeah. Because it happens early in the morning. Um, and one of my dear friends, who's a playwright, um, was the first person to text me. He was like, let's go. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. It's mean, something good is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah. hoped, I didn't know. Um, yeah. And it was really, I mean, we cried and then we phoned each other and it was very special. So cool. I was doing that that terrified thing of each morning when you wake up, you kind of check that your voice is still alive. Oh my god! And so in the shower, doing yeah. all those. Oh my god, we're all choir kids. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I came out of the shower and found um, some text messages, and it was it was pretty overwhelming because it's been such a passion project for us, and and it's meant the world that so many elements of the show have been recognised. But also, one of the things about this city that is so special is its love of theatre. Mm -hmm. And also the geography of it. So all the theatres on Broadway, they all kind of back onto each other. And so you share yeah. back alleys with other theatres or you go out between the matinee and the evening to get sort of sushi and you bump into another cast. And, and that sense of community is, is much stronger here in New York than, than, than it is in London. Yeah. And... Um, and so the fact that with the Tonys, you get to go to these events and see everyone, and, and it really feels like everyone's sort of coming together um, really to sort of bolster this community yeah. is kind of wonderful. And it's like a, for me, it's like a different level of talent. Like you walk in the room and you are just like, oh my God, it's so physical. It's so wonderful, like how how incredibly gifted they are in so many different. Yeah, you know, I'm blown areas. away by our ensemble. We have an incredible, like amazing. I know, just group watching of that, you're incredible. Yeah. Yeah. You're incredible. Yeah, and there's the energy of that. Being on stage with that has to it's be pretty electric. Yeah, really. and some icons. We got BB Newworth in yeah, our in casually. our piece, who is just yeah. extraordinary, and getting to watch her. She's sort of 
worked with Kander and Ebb famously on Chicago. Yeah. And, and also with Bob Fosse and his friends with Joel Grey. So she links our production right back to the, mm, the originals. Yeah, and, yeah. and watching her sing this song, which is a showstopper every night, What Would You Do, um, is just... It's kind of pinch me moments that you you get to experience that every yeah. night as a just sort of peeking through the curtain. Yeah. Oh man, it's magical. It is so awesome to have both of you here. So Congratulations nice. oh, yes. on all the success. So Thank you. So so talented. Super cool. You can see Cabaret at the Kit Kat Club at the August Wilson Theater here in New York City. It's the most Tony-nominated revival of the season. So you've got to check it out.